and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Rakdo Spirit as our next best of one deck here on Best of One Day Monday. This deck, uh, we've played it a few times so far, and this deck is built um, on Pestilent Spirit. Uh, that's why we're calling it Rakdo Spirit, this three mana. 3-2 that has Menace and Death Touch, and all of your instant and sorcery spells you control have Death Touch. So if you have this card in play, with your instants having Death Touch, it means that a card like Shock, that would normally do 2 damage, um, well, it still does 2 damage, but that damage has a Death Touch, so it would kill um, or destroy a creature of any size. So that's why we're playing 4 Shock, 4 Carnival, that does 1 damage, because he if that has death touch you know so basically with these things we want to have four mana drop spirit and then play one of these to immediately uh kill a large creature plus we have four chandra's pyro helix they can do two damage divided as we want so we can kill two creatures with pyro helix lava coil can kill an exile stuff bone crusher giant kills things so a lot of ways to do damage with the pestilent spirit so we're we're kind of like a, a rakdos control deck in that sense um, but we also have aggressive elements. We have Stormfist Crusader to let us both draw an extra card. Because we have so many cheap spells, uh, so many cards that cost one and two mana, um, us drawing an extra card, uh, like, you know, both us and our opponent is probably going to be good for us. Um, and then we have the Theater of Horrors that uh, also gets us a whole lot of extra card advantage. Uh, we do need to deal damage to our opponent to be able to play the cards off the Theater of Horrors, but we have the Stormfist Crusader that turns on the spectacle there. Um, and then we have the the all these cards like Carnival, Pyrohelic, Shock that can also do damage to the opponent as well. Some generic Planeswalker removal. We got a couple Murderous Riders, some Bedevils, and a couple Chandras for the top end. Um, one reason why I wanted to play this deck today, because you know, this is a new format here with um uh, with the, the bannings taking place with no Oko or uh, Vela Summer or Once Upon a Time. And so we're thinking that there's going to be just a lot more aggro decks right now and um, in flash decks as well. And I think that this could match up well against um, aggro and flash decks with having so many cheap removal spells. You know, like, you know, we have like these, these cards that can just be really efficient um, instant speed removal uh, for those kind of decks. So that's why I wanted to play this deck today. Um, lots of cheap interaction. So I think this could be a good day to play it. So that's what we're going to kind of test. I have a sideboard over here if you want to play it in best of three. You know, there is a sideboard. I didn't really, like that was, this was just the last sideboard that we used for the last time we played the deck. I didn't really update it. Um, but it still looks just fine. Um, so where's, so yeah, Liliana would be for, like, against control. You know, like, whenever you have a lot more time, you can just play it as, as a haymaker. Uh, Flame Sweep um, could be a sideboard card. Flame Sweep would, would kill our creatures as well with Pestilence Spirit. But, yeah, it would just be, it'd basically just be Kaya's Wrath if you have Pestilence Spirit in play. Um, it would, yeah, it would just be, like, Kaya's Wrath, basically. Um, that could be a sideboard option as well. But hopefully we don't really need it with having enough um, cheap interaction that we can kind of uh, be able to kill all of our opponent's creatures anyway. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how we'll do against the Cat Oven deck. Um, you know, so like basically, there's not really better artifact removal besides Bedevil. Um, this deck could be playing a Blast Zone also. Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll have like Bedevil to try to kill Witch's Oven and, you know, then just kind of pressure their life total with, with uh, the different... Uh, damage spells basically be able to kill everything except for except for cauldron familiar they can keep coming back pestilent spirit does have menace so they can't just chump block pestilent spirit with one creature S same with uh, stormfist crusader these things do have menace so they can't just use one cat to chump block them hopefully it does pretty well we're gonna see all right so we're going to uh go ahead and go standard ranked because we're doing best of one day monday today we're going to be playing seven games over in Ranked with our last three decks. Uh, correct. You have to get its top 1,200 now. You just have to, you have to finish the month in the top 1,200, and then you get an invite to the Mythic Championship Qualifier to the next one. And so, you, yeah, you have to be at the, at the very end of the season. When the season is over, you have to be in the top 1,200 at that point. So it's not like 
you know, I'm in the top 1,200 right now. It's, I don't just get an invite for being in the top 1,200 right now. It's got to be at the end of the season. No, okay, so you said you got it last month, do I need to get it again this month? No, you just only need to get it one one month. So, like, basically, if you got it last month, you have, like, the token in your account that you can see in the in your profile um, that says that you're qualified, and so then, so then you're good to go. You get to play in the next qualifier uh, because of that. And um, so it basically, you don't need to qualify at all for the, the next month because you already have it. Like, if you do qualify, you don't get an extra... It's not like... Getting an extra qualification doesn't uh, really benefit you in any way. Uh, no, Gabo, so I won't be. Um, I don't want to see Questing Beast. I don't have good answers right now to Questing Beast. It seems like that's the most likely thing that's going to happen here, but I hope not. And if so, I hope I draw a Pestilent Spirit. It's unfortunate. It's either pay two life and then double Pyro Helix this thing, or play, or just play a shock land in here, and just cast another Theater of Horrors and just. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna play the tap land, get another Theater of Horrors going, take an extra four damage, and try to set up for a long game here. And just kind of see where we're at next turn with life. Okay, well, that wasn't so bad. Just gonna go double Pyro Helix on their turn. I think it's incredibly likely that they have more Questing Beast in hand. More Questing Beast, Murderous Riders. Um. Okay, they didn't they didn't just play the the raised dead creature that thing. We've done a good job getting rid of a whole bunch of lands. That's good.
I expect if I play Stormfist Crusader, it gets Murderous Ridered. Like, they had to just be holding removal. Foulmire Knight and Murderous Rider with their discards. I guess I could have grabbed the castle from over here instead of the basic, but whatever. <laughs> Carnage's art is so creepy. It is pretty creepy. Our deck has 23 lands. So 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's only 13 more lands in the deck. We've already gone through 10 of the 23. All right, there's the raised dead creature, Order of Midnight. Ugh, that's not one I wanted to see, because I don't want to see more Questing Beast. We're starting to get some removal spells. So let's grab this thing. Let's play you. And attack with you. And... It would be, would be kind of nice to. Just, can I just. I guess I could just take. I guess I could just take one here. It's either shock this thing, because. Remember, I can't cast these things on their turn. I definitely want to hold up a devil in case of another questing beast. I'll just shock this thing. I just want to use my mana also each turn. I could like you know shock them. That's that's basically basically I wanted to cast the shock because we're gonna have tons and tons of cards with these. So I'm casting the shock. It's either just put them at eight or kill the one one where you know the one one being alive isn't that big a deal with the pyro helix. But I'm just keeping my life total as high as possible. That's pretty good. All right, Pestilent Spirit, are you anywhere? We're going to find this card. Still no Pestilent Spirit? So if I would have just, if I would have just, if I did not kill the beast, if I would have just dealt two damage to them, I would have had lethal here now. I have seven damage. Uh, this thing, you know, that's the four, three part, but I have two, four, seven. Um, I think I still just cast this, make them discard two. And I'm, I definitely want to keep a devil available still for questing beast. Right now I'm going to four. I'm not blocking the bear. I'm blocking the flaxen intruder. But if they have rankle or questing beast, I'll be able to kill that.
Zedalom. Uh, love y'all too. Thank you so much for the sub. That's our 25th sub of the day. Looks like I was behind one again. There's Pestilent Spirit. Um, I didn't get... Oh, wait. All right, so... Three... Okay, we, we got this, right? So I bedevil this thing. Yep, looks like we have exact lethal. Attack for two. Then down to three. Pyro Helix, deal two. And then activate Theater Horrors, deal one. GG's. What to replace once upon a time with in Jund Sacrifice? Um, you definitely need to. You need to. First, you got to play a couple more lands, probably. Like I don't, you know, I don't know exactly what the specific deck lists look like, but you probably have to play like probably two of the once upon a times have to be two lands. That'd be my guess. Um, but I, I don't think I'd really play Bond of Flourishing. Uh, for that deck, I think you probably just play two other, just two other spells. Um, you know, I don't, I don't have, I don't know exactly what the deck would look like, so exactly what spells to recommend. But um, you know, it's two other, probably either one or two lands added, and then either two or three spells added, depending. Right on schedule. I've got time. Only time will tell. Yeah, fine finality is a good spell. That's a good one. Because of the Castle Lock Twains, we do want to empty our hand. My opponent doesn't really do anything here. I'm just going to be shooting them with the Chandra's Pyre Helix. So we do want to empty our hand because of the Castle Lock Twains. <laughs> yeah, 3-2 Menace Death Touch is pretty cool. It is a cool card. So castle cost me four life. I guess I pay the four life here.
Artifact, creature, or planeswalker? These aren't artifacts, nor creatures, nor planeswalkers. All oh, right, I don't get to play it stuff at instant speed. They do. <laughs> I can't. I can't carnage at instant speed. Yeah, I'll get to Arcbow fires. Yep. The best of one decks definitely go faster. Are we just one to know with this deck? Yeah, I guess so. We've only played the one one match here. Cause yeah, I'm I'm playing seven seven games with each with each deck. I can't really see us winning this one. This this seems like my opponent has exactly what they could like like the best they could ever want. Yeah, I would think finales and crisis. Um Yep. So can only imagine this is going to be a loss, but we're going to make them have it. Yep. Reclamation is my least favorite card. I know 88 ways to defeat you. But Pick one. Oh well. Why do you have to lag, Arena? Come on, computer. You can handle it. Hey, yeah. Yep, no more Oko in standard. All right, so there goes the devious cover up. Put thoughtfulness before action. We get six more Nothing. direct damage. Lava coils hurting. Gosh, it's just gonna ask me every single time, isn't it? Let's just let's just draw our card so it doesn't so we tap out so it doesn't keep on asking me stuff. Happily ever after. ETBs each player gains five life and draws a card. Well, now I don't get to draw a card.
cards in our set. So that should be the game, that should be the win. Six or more card types among permanent control and or cards in your graveyard. So they have enchantment, planeswalker, and then land, instant, sorcery, creature. One and one. Control decks like that can definitely be tough. I mean, my opponent had an amazing hand, but just in general, that's tough for us unless unless we have, you know, like our Theater of Horrors um, getting us extra cards and Chandra and stuff like that. Um, even the 2-2 two -two Menace creature that draws gets us the extra cards too. We have our removal part of our deck. Wrong part of the deck for a control deck. Oh, they have to have every color? Oh. Whoops. I forgot about that part. Oh, well. We weren't winning that anyway. Mm, yeah, we'll go Swamp. Really wish we had just last game's hand, you know, with the Chandra Py Pyro Helix and Shock and that kind of stuff. Hmm. It's either just stomp again or just play a Bone Crusher Giant out. I mean, ideally, I'd like to play Theater of Horrors, but I don't think that's the smartest choice. Let's play out a Bone Crusher Giant. Wow. Use my mana better than playing a shock. Hopefully they don't, can't just kill it immediately. I will take that. So that that one Bone Crusher Giant killed a fervent champion, blocked a scorch bitter, and traded with a shock. It traded with three cards. Say that is ideal. Uh, the problem is I have four, four three mana cards. I don't get to double spell. That's the problem. I want to double spell. But we don't get to. I'm obviously not playing a creature out. We're just playing removal. The problem is this is my one card that costs two mana. I want to use my one card that costs two mana. And obviously, I don't want to play Murderous Rider that deals damage to me before this skewer the critics. All right, we're looking pretty stable here. Yes, I'm taking two damage from an Ember Hauler, but I think this is an okay time to get a Theater of Horrors in play. Obviously, I could have gotten Pestilent Spirit or Bone Crusher Giant in instead as a blocker. We'll start getting the card advantage. I think we've, for the most part, stabilized. Oh. 
Bone Crusher Giant looking really impressive this this game. Ooh. Huh. There's, I wouldn't say there's a de facto best deck right now. I'd rather them take out the Bone Crusher Giant than do four damage to me. Because obviously we can win a long game. The higher our life total is, the better. We'll get the lifelink creature in play. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I could have gone Pestilence Spear and plus Bone Crusher Giant to kill the two four. But then if if I try doing that, they could sack their two two to kill my Pestilence Spear in response. Um, basically means that my two damage from my bone crusher giant kills their bone crusher giant which wouldn't do damage to me all right two and one today is the 18th So the 21st is Thursday. It's just acting super slow. I know I know we reset not that long ago, but I just want to reset again. It's just acting really slow. If you're watching on YouTube, you do the skip ahead 30 second button. Um, let's reset. Yeah, basically the yeah, if if the spell has no target, it's just like any other spell with that's supposed to target something, but then the target leaves, so it has no target. The spell fizzles and does not actually does not fully resolve. And so since the spell does not resolve, it doesn't um it doesn't get exiled and do the whole adventure thing. Um so just any spell that doesn't that fizzles and doesn't resolve just goes to the graveyard. Yep, it's treated as the same as if the spell was countered. Hmm. I hope this is not Teamer Reclamation. 
That's not a deck I really want to play against. Okay. I'll take that. Oh, actually, this was this was bad to play the Pestilent Spirit. I was thinking they that they probably wouldn't have the removal, but but um, because of Omnath, like I just I just let my creature die to Omnath. All right, worked out. No Omnath. Worked out, worked out. Yeah, Deckmaster's working. Theater of Horrors is, or like Pestilence Spirit's doing great. It's doing its its thing. It's not really worth it to kill this Arboreal Grazer. It's like, what else am I doing with this man anyway? I'll make him discard a couple of these at least. Well, that's pretty good. Getting rid of Omnath and Cavalier Gales. That's pretty good. <laughs> Is it a coincidence that Ogo got banned and then Deckmaster started working? Uh, that was a great draw. Probably no coincidence there. Yeah, because Bedevil says destroy target artifact creature or planeswalker, and Fire Zone Invention is an enchantment. So, so I am not allowed to cast Bedevil targeting Fire Zone Invention. Otherwise, I would. I do want to exile their Cavalier of Thorns. That would that would make me play both of these cards on it.
Yeah, and so I was one mana short from casting Lava Coil plus Bedevil, because I did want to cast the Carnival. And there we go. All right, three and one. It's all that direct damage. Carnival Carnage just is like always a pretty good card. Like Carnage is, has been an awesome card here. I like Carnage a lot. You know, four mana, deal three to them, they discard two. It's an underrated card. We're playing a very similar deck to what my opponent was just playing there later on with the five color Arcbow Fires. I'm going five color though. And playing Arcbow. Um, yeah, this is a keep, but we really need to draw a lot of lands. You know, theater, we want a lot of lands with. Chandra can help us hit land drops, but we're going to need to get some lands here. <laughs> Rainbow fires with the bow capitalized. That's what I should call it. Rainbow fires. That's a good name. Rainbow fires. said we're going to need to draw a lot of lands. We're not we're not doing that. We're not drawing lands. It's been great to play theater fours on turn 3 here. Hex proof. That's busted. Okay, lands. Do I need to hold up Bedevil for Cavalier at Thorn? I kind of do. Same with Nissa. Yeah, I don't really want to see Nissa. Nissa would make me have a whole lot of things i i really want to draw so besides land if i'm not drawing land i want to draw pestilence spirit like this is a great matchup for pestilence spirit they're not really playing much removal it could turn all these like little damage sources that i have into hard removal spells um so that's the other thing that i would want to draw All right, they so yeah they missed their land drop. Um, all right, I'm gonna play either theater or Chandra this next turn. We'll play theater. Please do not drop Cavalier Thorns. Uh, they could play Questing Beast. It's an option. 
weak at wolf. All right, do I shock or carnival this paradise druid? No, shock. No, stop. Shock, there we go. I want to keep Carnival because Carnival deal, you know, how it does the one damage to the opponent that can help turn on my Theater of Horrors. And then also, of course, we can have the Carnage to turn on Theater of Horrors as well. That's a good card. They have a counter spell here that's kind of bad for me. Do you think this Lesnian Knights deck you played the other day could run at Vivian Arcbo since it's a legendary artifact? Um Sure. Let's make them use that food. It could be found by acclaimed contender. Yeah, maybe I don't think like four, but yeah, that's a that's a good card that you could play like, you know, because you can't play the once upon a times anymore. So you probably want like an extra land, since you can't play once upon a time. Probably want an extra land, maybe like one arc bow, and then maybe like two other cards, maybe I don't know like bond of flourishing or just something else. But yeah, I could see that. I, yeah, I don't think it's really a sideboard card. I don't think I'd put it in the sideboard at all. Hey, it's not really a card that you want to like board no necessarily Fire board in against ball. anything. I guess, I guess it's just fine to board it in against. Uh, Flash decks. This arc bow is a great card against flash decks. Let's light it up. Let Chandra have lethal. Yeah. Hey, Samo. Uh, why is it good against flash decks? Because you don't have to. If you can resolve, if you just get to resolve the arc bow, you don't actually have to cast anything for all their counter magic. You just um, activate arc bow and discard cards and and put stuff into play. So you don't. It just gets around all their counter magic. <laughs> oh, that, that was you, Samo. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, sorry you didn't. Yeah, sorry you didn't draw any land there. All right, so we're four and one. Hope my opponent's playing small creatures. Huh. Well, I guess that's a small creature. I 
Watery Grave is not usually the land you want to see if you want your opponent to play small creatures. Watery Grave can be kind of rough. Okay. Prison Realm with the Once Upon a Time slot. I don't remember exactly how many lands it had, Borderland Ranger, but I feel like you probably need one more land without Once Upon a Time. That would be my first assumption that to play an extra land. <laughs> yeah, my opponent's playing a, a mill deck with a million counter spells. Uh, gotta love that. The mill deck with a million counter spells. I just want Blood Crypt in play. And I probably want this 4 3 underneath counter magic, even though uh, getting Theater of Horrors in play would also be good. It's not really a wrong choice there. Maybe my opponent taps out. Because they, they know all the other cards in my hand, though. So maybe they're not scared of tapping out. And then we can resolve theater anyway. Ah, oh, they're Espa. Espa. Darn. They didn't tap out. Yay, they tapped out. Hmm. I can't remove a card from my graveyard at instant speed. That would be cool. <clears throat> that would be a neat party trick if I could, but I can't. Fight you can win. Oh. I've got time. Now what? I don't know. Do whatever you want. I thought they were gonna bounce theater for us. But then they didn't. Do you think Grix is a mass he played a couple days ago has gains now? Um, you have to make sure that, yeah, with that deck, I don't know, maybe something needs to be changed. You have to, at least, um, you got to make sure that you have, <clears throat> enough for, like, the Rakdos Witches Oven decks, as well as... You have a, a good enough game against Simic Flash. Yeah, you know, like I think those are those are two important decks to kind of target out of the gates. But besides that, um, uh, besides those things, yeah, I, I I do think that could be a good way to take control decks. A good angle of attack. Um, they just counter theater fours. Bloodfell Caves does not come into play untapped. If it came into play untapped, I would do one damage to them and just play the untapped land. First. But I'm glad I didn't do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I Yep, I played it, your Slesnia Knights deck in best of three the other day. And did awesome with it again. 
Wall of Lost Thoughts. Why are you losing your thoughts? This is just going to be bad for you. Yeah, that's probably going to be bad for you. All right, got that thing out of their hand. All right, so I like hitting that land drop. I like getting the getting cards out of my hand because we've seen them have disinformation campaign and stuff like that. It's like just playing stuff, you know, getting a couple damage on them. Well, that's pretty good. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. So the thing is, they need to counter this, but they do counter it. They they die, but if they don't counter it. They die. So like, that was just a really good card for me to hit. Just having a land, like basically both those cards land shock, meant they're just dead. I guess I could have carnage for the win to you. Yeah, that, that game went really well for us after resolving the Theater of Horrors. And still surprised they didn't bounce Theater of Horrors with Teferi. But it all worked out. And we're 5-1, and one, and we're going to play one more game here with our Rakdos Spirit deck. I've always just liked playing this deck. You know, this is just a deck that I, I certainly enjoy playing. We're so close to the next level. Yeah, they saw Bedevil, and then they, but they also saw a Chandra Pyro Helix. Like, if they minus, they know that I was just going to be able to cast Pyro Helix to do one to Teferi and one to them. So it was going to, you know, so I spend one less mana to kill the Teferi. But they should still just do that and draw a card. Like, they should have minus. No, more land. All right, so we got a mulligan. Don't have enough land. Okay. All these cards are awesome. What do you do when all your cards are good? Guess I put this thing back, but this is still four mana, do three to them, and they discard two, which is awesome. Yeah, stream laggy. I guess I'm gonna need to get a new computer. I don't know. I'm really hoping the, the updates for the 21st are help out. As y'all know, in in about um, you know a month or two, probably two. But um, I'm planning on moving in, a, in, you know, maybe around six weeks or so. And so I, I really want to, you know, and that's purchasing a house and everything like that. I really want to purchase a house and all that kind of stuff before buying a new computer just um, from finance perspective. But I know this, this lag has just gotten worse and worse. What's up, Alden Yeti? Thank you so much. So maybe I have to just buy the new computer first. Um, I think it's I think it is my PC. It's definitely gotten worse since I I put in Streamlabs OBS too. Uh, 
Um, so I don't know. Maybe we'll have to get a, a new PC. Oh, like I'm definitely gonna wait till third. You know, see what happens on Thursday. Do you alt tab a lot? No, I've. I don't think I've ever alt tabbed. I don't know what that does. Crowdfund the PC. I could do that. I could do a, a donation tracker for a PC kind of thing. We could do that. Um, I don't I don't know my specs. Um Using the Murderous Rider now would use my mana better. But then I don't have the instant speed removal for more instant speed threats. I mean, instant speed removal is pretty important. It's all just lava coil. Um, yeah, no, yeah, I know the computer is for work. So it is an important thing to do. Um, basically, we'll just kind of see what happens on Thursday with performance. The performance is still bad after the update on Thursday, because they said that they've they've made the uh, supposedly the performance of Arena is supposed to be a lot better on Thursday, according to their state of the program update for this month. If it's still bad like this, then we'll look into buying a PC. Yeah, and I, I can do that, Dusty. I, c I can write it off as a work expense, um, but that's still just, you know, while that helps taxes, that's still money I don't have. Or, like, you know, I wouldn't have. Uh, current PC is probably around uh, three and a half years. I'd like to play Theater of Horrors, of course. Like, getting this card in play as early as possible is the best that we can. But also, Gruul just hits so hard. I kind of want to just keep open. Let's just keep open Murderous Rider, honestly. Scamden, thanks for the tier one sub. You know, like, Hellkites, I want to want to be able to kill. Worst case scenario is they're playing Gruul Spellbreaker, which um, I cannot kill. And it's in speed. Yeah, that's that's what that's what y'all that's what people in chat was saying yesterday also in, in YouTube comments with the Ryzen. I need to get a Ryzen thing. Right, exactly, Flarm. That's that's the thing is exactly that's the problem is a large expense while going through the loan process for buying a house. Yeah, for. That's that's fail. the problem with buying a PC right now for me. That's why. I... Yep. That's why I'd like to wait like two months, but I know that a lot of people. I know that the the lag is is rough, and a lot of people complain about it, and I lose viewers with it. And so, in that respect, I need to do something about it I as soon as possible. Behold, nature's true power. Um, if I set up a fund for the new computer, would Twitch get part of it? Uh, no, but PayPal would. You know, like with just basically like donations, uh, PayPal takes a percentage. Um, I don't, I don't remember the exact percentage, but. Hello. Um, is there a way to donate so I get all of it? Uh, basically, if I would just send you my my personal email with PayPal, 
That would be the way there. See, I, d I don't know if playing Stormfist Crusader is good for me or not. I kind of feel like it's not in this scenario. Yeah, my uh, my deck is not an Ember Cleave deck, but my opponent's deck is an Ember Cleave deck, yes. Which is problematic for me. Hey, what's up, Paul? That hurts. Good game. The game's just over. I mean, if they have... I mean, they, they could definitely have things that would kill me here. So I guess that's what they're saying. Yeah, well, while Oko, I'm sure, I, I didn't look at prices or anything, but I'm sure it took a hit um, for being banned. It's it's going to rebound just fine. I don't think you have to be too worried about Oko paper prices. Just just hold on to them. It's a card that's going to that gets played in lots of other formats. The full extended R has dropped from 180 to 80. I I can't really imagine that that's true. That it would drop a hundred dollars. Um, okay. Um, uh, anyway, if it if it says that it did, that's got to be just like a short term thing kind of thing. Anyway, uh, let's talk about our deck though. Racto Spirit. Um, so yeah, we went five and two. You know, we lost a, a couple, but the thing about best of one is, um, you know, you're going to have like some variants and stuff. You're going to lose some. Um, we lost to like the control deck when we had a lot of early removal. You know, like our hand was filled with like, you know, shocks and pyro helix and stuff like that. And so we lost to the control deck um, that went uh, to ferry into reclamation, into more reclamations and stuff like that. That happens. And then, yeah, Gruul got us. Um, you know, that's def the Gruul matchup's definitely one where I want, like, the Pestilent Spirit uh, to be able to kill the bigger creatures. Um, and, you know, if we get behind, when we're behind, like, Stormfist Crusader, Theater of Horrors, don't, those don't really help us uh, whenever we get behind. And uh, we did, and we had those cards. Uh, the Nissa that my opponent had was really rough because, you know, we have to use a removal spell on, on the Nissa, and then the 3-3 three, three that they made did, did a lot of damage to me. So it was really that Nissa was the big problem but oh well still a good showing you know five and two nothing wrong with that over in a mythic fun deck to play i really like playing this deck um you know i like just like these rakdos cards and just killing a lot of things and playing uh these cheap interactive spells pestilent spirit and theater horrors are a lot of fun 
Um, Stormfist Crusader is still probably my least favorite card in the deck, but I think it's kind of like a necessary card because it you know it really does help turn on your theater and everything like that. But um, I think it's just a, a good. I think it's a necessary card in the deck, but it's my least favorite card in the deck. Um, but that's it. That's that's Rakdos Spirit. Um, another option for this is Angras Rampage. If you play against more Planeswalkers um, instead of like Lava Coil, um, that's another option instead of Lava Coil. But I, I wanted the Lava Coil as, as a way to exile things, and and I liked them. They were okay. Like they were they were just fine. Uh, there was a there was a spot or two where Rampage would have been better than Coil, um, but it was good. <clears throat> okay. Um, Okay, yeah, so the full art only dropped like $10 or $20, not $100. That makes a lot more sense. Anyway, that's Rakdos Spirit. Again, fun deck to play there. Five and two, good record. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, and, of course, leave the comments. Uh, let me know what you think of the deck, what you think of the bandings, all that kind of stuff. What are you playing in the new format? Um, and, of course, if you want to know my take on the bannings and... Um, Everything that I think is going to happen to the standard format in the next couple of weeks, check out my post over on Patreon. It's $3 a month, but you only get charged the first of the month. So you can sign up now and you won't get charged immediately. You only get charged uh, December 1st would be the next time. So check that out. Uh, there's a link down below, but just patreon.com slash ToddStevensMTG. I'll put it here in the chat also. Um, but if you like my videos, if you're watching on YouTube, that's a great way to support uh, my channel and you don't have to feel bad about having your ad block on or anything like that. <laughs> anyway, that's Racto Spirit. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.